We're going to see a fast hit coming in. Yeah, nice little double pump here. There are, as you say, two defenders. Annie Drill, she's got to be good for this kill. Oh, and a little bit of a fluff. Nice omen blind to get into the site as well. The spike should be going down. Cloud9, as I mentioned, Jazzy King, she's still barely limping right now. <laughs> yeah, and they're actually, they were trying to battle fast here for Cloud9 White just to try, to try to prevent any pushes coming in into the spawn side. So now you're forced to play a retake for C9 White. A five on four situation. A flash coming out from the attacker side sky into the spawn side just to get some information. But it's still going to be a triple push down from the spawn side. The crossfire is being set up. We're training out one for one. But it's still going to be the women advantage back four. Actually, in an even situation. Jassikin still dink from the beginning, still alive now. Going for the pull defuse is Mel. You're counting out Jassikin to so actually get it down to a 2v1 out of bullets. Oh we my. don't have the full defuse yet. It wasn't even halfway, but Jassikin with a 10 HP will. Alexis is going to be hearing a lot of noise, a lot of info, Ooh. and perhaps if she even goes sniffing out those garage doors, she's going to get a nice flank off, but that's a huge pick up there. Yeah. They know now that Shopify Rebellion is actually on this buy, so we're still playing very cautiously for C9 White with yeah. the kill from Jazikin, the wall bang from the B side onto Manini. So that's no smokes for the last three players moving inside the A side, but it is still open no matter what. So pushing in now, it's going to be a default plant, placing it more here towards the sewers, but the crossfire left. is still huge from Five Flowerful planted. and from KP. Yeah, definitely so. Flowerful is going to have a lot of action here coming her way. She's got to be good for this multi-kill. KP just trying to bait out some of that contact to relieve some of that pressure that's about to be coming through. Annie Joe does get a nice angle though, and the drop down. Oh! That was clean. It looks inside with the trap wires, with the camera, and they're gonna play the retake oh. play. Oh, except for that! Spike down A. Such a quick, good kill there, and I'm sure Mel still has her cam. She's just gonna wait yep. to activate that on the retake here. Combo perhaps with the dart as well. Here comes the Astral Wall. Good information going through for this retake. She definitely spotted two out of three remaining, but remember, uh, remaining members, sorry, as Panini is towards Graffiti, so they know exactly where the third player of SR is at. And Alexis trying to go for this retake, and just oh instantly, my. everybody gets dropped towards the A site. And coming in from the A side, so we know where the defense is being set up for. C9 White and Jazikin is on fire so far to pop Diana down, and Mel just runs in to get the wall bang onto Lori. A five on three, as the rest of uh, Shopify Rebellions they really can't get into the site. Already four women of Cloud9 White into the A site with the crossfire set up, and I don't think they're going to be able to cross this line to even get the spike down. Yeah, I don't think so either. It's going to be tough. Flowerful is definitely going to try her hand with it. Panini still has a flash, but at the moment, it may not be worth it. That's such an expensive piece of util, and here we go. Eight seconds. Nah. Wait, they're ulting with the from the shot? Okay, I thought she was going ahead with the spike. There we go, the site. This time around... Shopify Rebellion are going to find the picks coming in, so that should make this post a lot easier. But as I say that, look you at Mel. Run. She's already creeped out. Yeah. She's going to walk Ooh. out through that spawn, and that's Five huge from eight. Jazzy. Yeah, I guess there wasn't any smokes left to run back towards the heaven. Oh. And Mel is close as Diana was trying to get out her seekers, but unfortunately, Flyerful is also going to the side now. It's trap wires towards mid, and like at her spray right after with these smokes. Unfortunately, for her, she does not connect into anything, but this opens things up. She just runs in, and shot up to Lori. Another close range, almost takes down Diana, but it gets quickly traded out from the from the Hunter's Fury of Annie Dro. More pressure towards the garage. We're trying to even things up. We do have the Seekers coming out from Alexis, and she knows now that there's one enemy just around the corner. Very close, but look at the positioning from Jazikins. Already outside towards the attack spawn now the turret has been disabled towards that grass it will allow Alexis to move out as well and get the pinch and the last two players of Shopify rebellions drop pinned and now at bunny it's all up to KP she runs in and she gets dropped by information so they're forced to play another default a slow place a slow play sorry as the initiators on both ends are trying to find that information <laughs> Diana just trying to find some sort of timing to dodge that dog but she does get spotted the dart flash I like it. Lori, she's in the site. She's tucking in her smoke, but that's so much damage. Mel, she's going to be able to hold the site. And I, I got excited, but again, God 9. <laughs>
That's another solid hold once more. Yeah, you kind of had your hands forced, unfortunately, there for Shopify Rebellion as you lose Panini on the A-side spawn, which means there's no smoke to go towards Garage, Ten there's no smoke left. to go towards the spawn side, and it makes it a little bit more difficult for them to do this full execution into the C-side without Watch having the coverage. You have to look at so many other angles. <laughs> so unfortunately, one more to go, and yeah, Flowerfall's able to get a couple of kills. Good trade here from Alexis, and that's a trade you take every day. Yes, oh. Diana, 4v4 now. And she's got the ult, as you mentioned earlier. Nice! The lurk Ooh. kill right now from the garage side that drops two. Okay. Gets the third one onto Katsumi, and that opens up the C site. Now you fully They're pushed that forward that's all alone. So Shopify Rebellion did a luxury. Oh, the Hunter Spearly barely missing. A lot of shots going back and forth, but Shopify, they're gonna come out on top of it. Diana, she's in the site now. I'm Only two players try. remain on Cloud9. Early seekers coming out. That should give a lot of information that they will not have to worry about the flank. Agreed. Nobody flanking both towards the spawn, and with that, it's time to pull out the lockdown. So you're running the clock even more, so I'm loving this for Shopify Rebellion. Really punishing the aggression of Cloud9 White, fighting back against them off the utility of Diana. And you now have just Mel with Katsumi, looking to... Double work again from the spawn side, but the Aldrone's gonna look out to get the information. The turret's on the top. What a flick there from Mel onto Diana, but she's low on HP. A four versus two. We have the Cosmic One Divide to come out. No, the small little shock guard in position. Rotates. You're starting to see a slightly weaker side here on the seaside hold. Yeah, I think... Oh, that's going to be mm. huge for Shopify. Taking down Annie Dro there. Mel, it looks like the speed hit is coming through. This is good, actually. Although it's a trade, I still have to give this over to Shopify Rebellion because there's no initiators left as Alexis also falls. So Jazzikin's playing it close to Flash from Diana and also a nice little shot to the face of Jazzikin. Tapping to say hello. With the three different change of pace for Cloud9 White, they actually did decide to go for the force buy. They get the plant, as we were talking before in that first half. Put it on the back of your jet, get that plant, dash away, play the retake. But look at the double plate coming in, but the crossfire is beautiful for Cloud9. It's a one for one, one minute across the window though. Can Lori get the plate? She does! A first on a second, a third kill onto Mel, and it's gonna be Alexis on her own. At the bottom, behind the boxes, Flowerful with the mid-range headshot. A fingle too. She could dash away from that position, so I kinda like it. Oh and she avoids the flash. The first one on Tamel. If a second one tries oh, to contest it, she could get it as well. And there's a second one, she gets flashed. Still stays in the corner. Blade Storm is out. Seeker out on the attack at the same time as well. As Glory is under heavy pressure. Panini though gets the first one on the attack. It's getting traded back and forth. There's almost no time left. They have to hurry up and close range there. Lori goes with the left click. Boy, oh, it might be heard though. Get no, pretty close. I don't think so. Oh, this is this is good. This is better than good. This is great. I, no, <laughs> she's she's taking her time. Wait, what is better than good? I'm just kidding. The dart is gonna come through. <laughs> Shopify Rebellion. They feel pretty comfortable with this retake, but it's all gonna come down to this timing with Mel. I'm loving it. Jazzikin's oh, not even no. needed. Going to work. It's all the shares across the board from everybody inside the seaside for Cloud9. <laughs> and this flank is going to do even more damage. A three versus one. Diana now full kit as this guy, but not even need a kit. Doesn't even have it so that she could delay a little bit more towards the seaside. But she goes for the peak. That's a spike down. Trade it out. That opens up C, but at least it's going to it's going to kill the time just for a bit. Now, fantastic trade. And Alexis definitely just barely left. saw... But they will get the spike down here. 4v4. We've got the Silva ult on Annie as well. This post plant should be fairly textbook for Cloud9. Yeah, they also have Hunter's Fury for Annie Pro. There you go, she pulls it out. We're gonna at least absorb it to get it at halfway, so sacrificing one player, that's Diana to fall. But a 3 versus 2. Annie Joel somehow connects with another For that Killjoy ult. So they're gonna have to make sure they've got some shock darts or something to slow down this retake. Yep. Okay, there we go. Already came out from Annie Dro. KP also has this Hunter Fury that might use it with the Seekers. A little bit of a block that he's law to drop out the uh, weapons down. There comes the Hunter Fury that comes out. Does not connect into anything yet. But at least on the attacker side, the Recon Guard spotted two towards the sponsor for in favor of Cloud9 White. Now we're pushing in. Diana at the forefront with the Guardian. But everybody is dropping one by one. And immediately, wow. that for Shopify Rebellion eating the Hunter Fury, it's still Cloud9 White that slaps back. Ooh. Okay, that was a post plant that went the way that it should have gone in the <laughs> Seems that, oh no. Oh, Consuming with this I battle close exactly. range, Mel opening up towards the A side, and even the 
Neural Theft is going to get all that information oh. needed, and They're I think this is it, Christine. Bands. This is it, exactly. They're everywhere. Just all over the four versus one. It seems to be impossible, but she focuses on the kill on Katsumi first. Too late to get the weapon. It's too far in front of the B site. But we are narrowing down the hopes. And just behind her toxic screen, but Diana seems to be very ready for the that. Bird. The flash Ooh. and the double peek to come out. Alexis gets the first <laughs> blood and capitalizes on that double kill. To be able to get the spike down. Well, it's looking that, thankfully, with a nebula that came out here towards you, they do allow to get this plant a wall bang from Annie Dro One into the APC, <laughs> and that is only going to be KP to fall as well. A lot of HP being dealt with when you're trying to cross the wall. Oh, it's a decent kickoff, and oh, they want more. Huh? For a, a little bit of noise, actually, they're going to attack the charge in just to try to get info, and it's Mel with the first kill and pink <laughs> shells. We talked about that utility at the beginning. I was going to say. Oh, so that gives them another opportunity, but KP, she's going to want to find a pick here. The Alan Jolene to come out first from Annie Joe just to try to clear out some or get some information. She spots both oh, of them. No. So this is going to be deadly. Even Panini pinged on top of that. The boom bot to spot them both oh, in the front. This is not good news at all here for Panini. Annie Joe, she's stuck in a suck and there's an operator on her back here. Wow, and she's even re-pushing back out. Oh, yeah. And the, the pinch TV. coming once again. Yeah, the flash. And then you also have the sucks that are coming out from Katsumi. And the defense. She's all alone though. The TP does come through. That should. Nice. Oh no. That's a free sight. The Viper ult is going to go down. This is a 3v3 post plant. Spike planted. Okay. Are you all playing inside this Viper pit or not? Actually, you're leaving potentially one walking towards elbow. You're trying oh! to get a little bit more space. The toe! Firefall has a nice kill on Tamel indeed, who's trying to walk out of Hookah. But now here comes a flank from Alexis. And intro with an operator. This is going to be difficult to retake, and I love it from KP. Continue to push forward, but she does also get the kill onto Flyrofac here on these battles. But C9 White, they don't want to let anything back. They're just crushing forward. They catch KP off guard, and the show is going to come out into the attack side from Showers. But Jaskins, meanwhile, gets another kill towards the short side. A boom butt as Diana eats it for a bit of damage. And that is all Jazz gets all she wrote. The spike is down. Panini cutting the rotations as Annie Drill falls. But just behind is going to be Mel going for that peak. The cannon seeks out of the barrel of the gun, rather. But Mel still gets the battle. She, she still wins that fight. That's it. Only one more to go. Oh. It's a 2k. Oh. And that's going to be it. Not Han with the Seekers, indeed. It's going to go out and... Oh, every kill matters here for Han. Oof. Oh, ho, ho, the bird! You gotta get the, the saddle charges in, you gotta clear that space, yeah. and it's gonna be Diana. Cannot connect on that kill onto Alexis, and look at the deniability. The snake bites on the ground, the gravity oh. wells, Mel with an off angle towards Spike shoulder, down. or elbow, should I say. One and that's just remaining. everybody dropping like flies once again, and look at the crosshair placement. And Halter from Diana from Long B, a recon dart to come out at the same time, and she's just trying to do everything that she can to slow things down. Inside that nebula is going to be Alexis flashing out and spotting two towards that shed. Oh. And it's just going back and forth. We still have a three versus three, but we are committing inside the site. We cannot stop Alexis so far and finally dead. This oh, could no. be anything on the timing. Oh, they're walking back into the site. One they're walking back as Firefall gets spotted, and that's it. With 20 seconds left on the clock, the spike is down, and Jazzy gets the last kill. No peek! No! Okay, well at least she gets a little bit of a dig, a little bit of a damage, still trying to create the space, but little does she know that you still have Mel on the top of the A Heaven side, and she's the one that gets oh, the kill with the Han. Boy. The showstopper, oh, but close range, Diana no. still wins it! She does more damage! She oh. does more damage towards the spawn side! You have now Katsumi at 17 HP! The defender side of Alexis, now they know. The rotation's back towards the B site, and it's gonna be Cloud9 White trying to oh. take the position. Whoa! Oh. No, no just gets clotheslined <laughs> by Panini. Alexis, she's in the site. Both Cloud9 members are here, but Hunter's Fury will stop the defuse. 2v2, there's a tap. You're welcome. Well done. This is going to be uh, winnable, especially Katsumi committed now going towards Long B, and you know, there's no time for oh, 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 At least she does took some econ damage, is good enough. The spike might even go out to take down. That's exactly what they needed. Oh. Look at the money for Cloud9. Alexis is going to take a duel down. Oh, no. oh that's a beautiful. A side. Will they yeah, TP no, again? She's still got the mollies. Yeah. Oh, that was a very wide swing coming through for Mel there. 18 seconds left. I think they're gonna get the spike down here, Van. They have to. They have to. 
Thankfully, thankfully I need Joel. Well, no, I was going to say thankfully she only hit the sheriff, oh, but that's no! good enough as she gets a second kill after Flower Fall, and that is now has a showstopper ready. A triple push once again oh. here. A showstopper. It's the same round again. The showstopper this time, though, from Jazzikins on short. But this time, we're not pushing out from Shower side on the attacker side. We're falling all the way back from Diana to try to get some information. And there comes the showstopper on the attack. A gravity oh, well just no. to keep her in the tracks. She does get a kill, but there's two more to hold down Shopify Rebellion. For business, Mel is slowing everything down, though. Ooh, that tag! Oh! What a shot, though! It's all down to Panini. Just the one. And she just spotted Alexis. Yeah. She 100% spotted Alexis. She also got spotted too, though. Thankfully, she didn't get wall banged. And Alexis is just trying to run that clock down so her teammate can rotate from spawn side. Here comes that double flash to peak. Panini trying to stay alive, but unfortunately, that's not enough for another time. And add that little bit of that wall to try to get control uh, onto the triple if they want to. Oh, Jazikins definitely has a good idea to ask her cross to the left. Oh! Touchdown. Wait, she she saw that it was Astra in Hookah. If those comms come through, they should have a good idea. Yep, and the stun comes oh. through, but a beautiful classic burst in the face of Katsumi. And Panini does go down, is traded out, and there's only two members of Shopify left. Spike now lands onto the ground, and the clock is ticking KP at the elbow, but blinded by Alexis towards Long. The pinch coming in from, Shou uh, from Hookah at the same time, uh, if not Han, is now going to be on her own. She knows exactly the three players now as they all peeked in one by one, and all Cloud9 White needs to do now is just wait for the timing and go for the triple swing. As soon as it not Han lands down, there's the first kill. There's that second swing! She does get the second kill though! 34 HP. Jazikins has to play the clock as it not Han is creeping up towards the site. Inside the doom lands the headshot for a 4k and the clutch! to make it now that pistol round much needed once again Clutch. for Shopify Rebellion in their favor. Oh, long, long A into the site. It doesn't do that much damage compared to that. Mm. But nonetheless, Cloud9White, they go for the force by off angle from Mel. Capitalizes on the win against It Not Han, but at least at 21 HP. Pink oh, shells oh, to come out as Diana does the same thing. Drive-bys after drive-bys. It is going to be oh, flashes man, coming so out. Low, Vince. You're just going to try to walk in and surprise their opponents instead. Fireful oh, in the corner. Angle. Oh, the first kill immediately gets traded out. And that actually powers up the Seekers. This is huge right now. So the plan's going to come down. They hear the shots at the same time. The recon dart as well to reposition themselves. Just unfortunately here. For the last two players, they're low on HP for Annie, Joe, and Alexis. Recon dart Potentially a spam? Oh yeah, it's going to happen after this recon. It oh! pings one out, there comes a spray, but Panini retaliates inside the smoke. Alexis with what two got in lights actually, there's the first kill, looks back towards that right, the flick then onto Panini and gets the clutch there! Oh man, just looking clean, looking good, and once again, we're in a broke, balling with the budget. Let's Seekers right after, and this is really going to overpower Flowerful. Uh, NKP was playing for his elbow, she's, so she's on her own. She's on a deserted island right now. There is that oh. first flash. Oh, it flashes her own teammate, but Elise, the trait comes in. She still gets the kill no matter what. She had the support, but Jessica still gets the kill. Seekers now to come out, and this is looking grim here, Potter. It is. It not Han does have a flash, and this flank could mean a lot, but Panini, she's the flankers getting flanked! Oof. Unfortunate there. And that is now the Spike Planet on a 4v2. All up to KP and it not Han. Your two initiators with only a flash to go to get into the site. Nothing else to get information. As you do have a double up from Cloud9 into Hookah. Make that only one player left inside Hookah. And that's Jazikins with the last two.